All right, now we are going to read the Storytown story, Spiders and Their Webs. We are on page 328 in our Storytown book. Please follow along with your pointer finger as I read. Spiders and Their Webs is an expository nonfiction. Remember, we've learned about this. It's what explains information and ideas. So it's real, it's nonfiction. It is not a made up story. This is talking about real things. Charts that give, look for charts that give additional information, facts and details that help you build an understanding of a topic. So let's make a little inference real quick. The author tells me that the story is called Spiders and Their Webs. I already know that expository nonfictions are giving me information and ideas, so I can make an inference that this story is probably going to be giving me lots of information about spiders and their webs. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Spiders and Their Webs by Darlene A. Murawski. Introduction. You can find spider webs just about everywhere you look, in forests, deserts, gardens, even underwater. About 13,000 of the 38,000 known species of spiders make webs to capture insects and other small prey. Spider webs are made up of silk threads. Young and female spiders are usually the web, the web builders. Spider silk is liquid when it is inside glands in the spider's abdomen. It becomes thread-like as it is drawn out of tiny openings. In the spinnerets on the bottom of the spider's abdomen, a thread of spider silk is stronger than a thread of steel of the same thickness. Some silk is stretchy, like a rubber band. Some is sticky. In fact, Spiders can make as many as seven different kinds of silk. Each kind is used for a different purpose, such as making egg cases or wrapping prey, like the argiope <laughs> on the far right. When an insect gets stuck in the threads, the spider attacks. To keep their prey from escaping, spiders inject venom from their fangs. They may also wrap prey tightly in silk. Most spiders have teeth to chew an insect's hard exoskeleton. They spit up juices that turn the prey's insides to liquid so they can drink it. <laughs> spiders deserve our respect. They control insect populations and, in turn, become food for birds and many other animals. Although most spiders aren't harmful to us, a few species deliver a bite that can be painful or even deadly. With spiders, it's best for their safety and ours to look, but don't touch. Golden Orb Weaver. This huge spider, photograph is on the right, is a golden orb weaver. That tiny spider with her is her mate. Her web can be three feet wide or larger. It is strong enough to last for several days. This spider can choose the color of silk she makes to spin her webs. Gold for webs in sunny places, white for webs in shady places. What looks like drops of water on the web, small photograph on the bottom right, are really glue drops. When an insect, like the bee in the art above, flies to the web, it gets stuck in a sticky mess. The spider runs out and bites it with her long fangs. She can eat the insect right away or wrap it in silk and store it in her web for later. Did you know? Spiders know if a visitor is the right size to eat by how much the web shakes when it lands. Luckily, male golden orb weavers are too small to be mistaken for food. Spider facts. Common names, golden orb weaver, golden silk spider, banana spider. Habitats, forests and clearings in Northern South America, in Central America, and in Southern United States, mainly Florida and Texas. Food, mainly a variety of flying insects such as moths, flies, and bees, but has also been known to eat small birds and frogs. Body size, 24 to 40 millimeters. Adult females, males are much smaller. Spider facts, common name, Hawaiian happy face spider. Habitats, underside of leaves in Hawaiian wet forests from Oahu to the big island of Hawaii. Food, small insects such as young leaf hoppers and fruit flies. Body size, up to five millimeters. Adult females, males are much smaller. Hawaiian happy face spider. 
You have to use a magnifying glass to see this tiny yellow spider with the big grin on her abdomen. She makes a messy little web in a shallow dip on the underside of a leaf. The spider uses her web to protect her eggs and to store food. When a small insect visits her leaf, she springs into action. With her hind legs, she pulls silk from her spinnerets and tosses it over her prey. Then she reels it in. After she wraps her meal in silk, she tucks it in the web next to her eggs. When she gets hungry, she'll eat it. After her eggs hatch, she'll use the web as a nursery to find food for her babies for a few months. Did you know? Not all happy face finders have a smiley face pattern on their abdomens. Some have other expressions or just an abstract design. Water spider. This kind of spider lives underwater, but it needs air to breathe. To solve this problem, it builds an air bubble house. First, it attaches strands of silk to the leaves and stem stems of water plants. Then it fills the space with a net-like web. The spider makes several trips to the surface. Each time, a bubble of air sticks to its hairy abdomen. The spider carries the air bubbles back to its web and brushes them off. The air makes the web swell up, the web swell up like a balloon. The spider swims outside its house to catch its food, then drags it inside to eat. Did you know? Water spiders must swim to the surface often to get new air for their webs. The new air is rich, rich in oxygen, which the spider needs to breathe. Spider facts. Common name, water spider. Habitats, ponds, quiet streams, and shallow lakes in Northern and Central Europe and Central Asia. Food, a variety of small aquatic prey, such as tadpoles and baby fish. Body size, about 13 millimeters. Adult males, females are slightly smaller. Spider facts. Common name, social spider. Habitats. Along waterways and in undergrowth of rainforests from Panama south to Brazil. Food. Insects of various sizes, including beetles, butterflies, katydids, dragonflies, and wasps. Body size, 5 millimeters. Adult females. Males are slightly smaller. Social spiders. Social spiders live together in groups. They are called social spiders. Thousands of these spiders work together to make a web that can be as big as a garbage truck. The web has a sheet of silk across the bottom. Lots of long lines attach the sheet to the branches of trees and shrubs, as shown in the art above. These lines trip flying insects. They fall down and are caught in the sheet. The tiny spiders you see in the photograph on the left are busy attacking a katydid that flew into their web. By working together, social spiders can catch and eat insects that are many times larger than they are. Did you know? Instead of making a new web when it gets damaged or dirty, these spiders work together to repair and clean the one they have. Ray spider. The ray spider on the right makes an orb web that it uses like a slingshot to snag a meal. With its front legs, the spider pulls on a silk thread that draws the web back, step one. When the spider thinks his food is near, it loosens its grip on the thread. The web springs out and catches the insect in the sticky spiral threads, step two. Then the spider runs across the web and grabs its prey. Special hairs and claws on the spider's feet keep it from getting stuck in its own web. The spider can use its web a few times before it has to build a new one. Did you know? You can trick the spider by rubbing your thumb against your fingertips under its web. Sensing something is near, the spider will release its web. Spider facts. Common names, ray spider, ray orb weaver, cone web spider. Habitats. Dark, damp locations near streams and in shaded woods. Most species live in the tropics, but some can be found in the U.S., Europe, and Asia. This photograph was taken in a Costa Rican rainforest. Food. Small flying insects such as flies, moths, and beetles. Body size. About 3 millimeters. Adult females. Males are smaller. Spider facts. Common names, co-web spider, cobweb spider, comb-footed spider, gum-foot spider. Habitats, nooks and crannies in vegetation, under rocks and around buildings. Food, 
small crawling and flying insects such as flies. Body size, two to three millimeters. Adult females, males are slightly smaller. Cobweb spider. The spider that made this messy looking web, photograph on the left, is called a cobweb spider. That red dot in the middle is, is the spider hanging upside down. It's, um, it's waiting for its meal. It traps the insects with silk threads attached to the lower leaf. They are sticky near the bottom. When an ant or some other kind of small insect touches one of these threads, it gets stuck. The line breaks away from the leaf. Like a yo-yo, it springs up, carrying the insect toward the spider. The spider flings more silk around the spider to make sure it can't get away. Then the spider delivers a deadly bite and sucks it spray dry. Did you know? Cobweb spiders are some of the easiest spiders to find. Chances are you have some in your house or in your garage. Ugh. All right, go ahead and look through these um, critical thinking questions. See if you can figure them out and answer them. When you're done watching this video, comment on the Google Classroom assignment one thing you learned from this story. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye.